Hello everyone, TGIF, happy Friday. Welcome to Better Connecticut, I'm Tara Sundlin. The day after Valentine's Day. Yes. You doing all right there? I am doing all right. I'm holding it together. Hey, Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom got engaged. Yes, they did. On again, off again. But now she says they're in full bloom. That's oh. <laughs> a little shot there of her engagement ring. So they were they were together, then they were not together, and now they're back together. So uh, wasn't he the one who was pictured naked on a on a on a board on a, uh, on a on okay a, yeah. They, yeah. They're very comfortable. With paddle board. That's what I'm trying to say. Paddle board. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> so uh, congratulations to them. And they posted everything. But, you know, her nails paint matched her wedding ring. So did they know? Did they know? Did, you know, was it a coincidence or was it all planned? Well, celebrities definitely love to show um, how they're showing their love because the other big story, normally we don't spend a lot of time talking about the Kardashians. I actually thought they were banned from the show, the Kardashians. Uh, they are banned from the show, but, but when you could. do this, you yeah. got to allow them to come so, out. So there's an exception because check this out. Is that Kenny G? Uh -huh. And he's performing in a sea of roses. Nobody knows how he got in or how he's getting out, but that was what. Uh, oh my God! And this is Kim. Kanye did for Kim. That's the, there you go. That and, was her Valentine's Day present. And Kim is filming the whole thing as Kenny G. Now, how did he get in there? I know. We don't know. Oh, excuse me. One second. My phone is ringing. Do you have an alarm? Oh, I'm sorry, my alarm is going off. Why is your alarm? Listen, I gotta go. What? I gotta go. I'm going to Florida. <laughs> Why are you here? That's right, you're supposed to be on vacation. Yeah, so listen, I got Renee to come. Renee, come, come, come. I packed your bags. Thanks a lot, I really appreciate Take that. Take that flight. <laughs> you're good. It's heavy. Oh my God, I'd love to Last stay for the rest good. of the show, but I gotta go. Can you handle this on your own with Renee? I, I think we got it. You got it? Okay. Have a good time. Have fun. Uh, Don't right, forget your sunscreen. I won't sunscreen and, uh, and my fedora and my fedora. rash guard. And your Sunglasses. rash guard. Okay, bye Sunglasses. guys. Sunglasses. Nice to see you. Maybe when, next when year. When are you coming back? I'll see you Monday. Okay. Yeah, short weekend. You okay. have a good flight. All right, take care. <laughs> he could have maybe better planned that, I think, giving you a little notice. I mean, okay. Well, hello. Well, hi, Renee. Hi. Yeah, I'm not worried because you're here and you can we handle it. But we, we should this. be talking about, we're talking about Valentine's Day love yes. displays. Yes, yes, yes. Well, yes. another big display of big love came from Chip Gaines uh, for his wife, Joanna. Look at and that. And there you go. It's Chip Hearts Joe. On the, uh, they put it on their silos at the wonderful Magnolia site. We could have cleaned up the silo a little bit. No, let's see what she said. The big, this is love. <laughs> and apparently it's in um, John Deere green and oh, they're stickers, so they're not gonna ruin the silo, so. <laughs> That's very cute. Uh, we've got a story coming up with them in, in just a little bit because you can see behind the scenes of the magazine and she's really talking about being authentic after you know they've become quite famous and yeah. how do you manage to stay and how do you bring your dreams to the world? So we've got a story of them coming up in a moment. In the meantime, um, certainly they have a garden on their Texas property, but they've probably never grown anything, at least that that we're aware of, anything quite like this, Renee. An Australian couple has managed to grow. Holy moly. A cabbage, not just a normal cabbage, it's as big as a person, Care, it's a giant. That's a lot of super That's coleslaw. a lot of cabbage rolls, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is uh, their guest house in Tasmania, and they had to keep out wallabies, possums, slugs, and butterflies just so they could keep growing. But it, they say it'll make two weeks worth of coleslaw. <laughs> Two weeks worth of that's coleslaw. That's it. I would think that's like a year supply. That is. A, I've never grown anything. You out. could do a lot of the, you know, the cabbage soup diet. You could do a lot with that. <laughs> Lose a lot of weight with that cabbage. All right. Valentine's Day is done. It's over. Now on to the next holiday, St. Patrick's Day, just in time. Kara, it's back. McDonald's has the Shamrock Shake. A lot of people wait for this. The Shamrock Shake, and uh, it's a green milkshake, and you've got the syrup and the whipped topping. You know. All people right. love it. People, I, everyone I work with, it's like a big day at our facility. So everyone just has to go and, and try that. And available in stores, by the way, through March 24th. Uh, and those. You uh, can take your Shamrock yeah. Shake back to the, um, you can go to the Hartford Parade yep, with the your Shamrock Patrick's Shake. All right, and Kentucky Fried Chicken is now serving a chicken sandwich with fried mac and cheese as the bun. As the bun. It's only I do like fried mac and cheese. It's a know, really though. guilty pleasure. Like at CPK, they have fried mac and cheese balls. But to make it the bun, I don't know. I feel like that's just upping the healthy factor. But here's the deal. <laughs> you can only get this in Singapore. So you have to be committed to fried mac and they cheese. They like fried mac and cheese in Singapore, huh? And so you're going to go there for that sandwich. 
I don't know. That's a little too much for me. I need that to not I need be them like separated. that. Yeah, I need that separated. All right. So uh, listen, let's move on because that's making me a little bit hungry. I must confess. Um, if you're driving down the highway and you see this, uh -oh. what do you what do you think, Kara? Um, what's did he get, how did he get up there? It's so a this bear. This is in North Carolina, and it's a bear riding in a garbage truck down the highway. Now I feel really bad for the bear. And I did do nobody too. know that he's up there? He's taking a he little. He wanted a little garbage. The driver said he didn't know that he was up there. The bear must have like just wanted to get a little dig in the garbage and then got stuck. <laughs> So and yeah, and the and the police officer pulled this this truck driver over. And he's like, "What did I do? I don't know what I did wrong." And he's like, "Excuse me, sir, there's a bear on your truck." Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, well now for some cute video. There's a polar bear cub, and uh, this is over in the Berlin Zoo. And she's a big, strong Aww. girl. Oh, she's so fuzzy. And I know they say polar bears are man eaters, but this one clearly isn't. She's really cute. And well, she not just yet. Wants to play. Yeah, she's a. Oh. This is her pre-man eater stage, and she's adorable at 11 weeks. Aww. Look at that. So yeah, cute. just over eight kilos. And they had a checkup, and they know she's a girl. So welcome Aww. to the world. So congratulations. Cute.